Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Spot. So in the past, I've had people ask me whether I use screen magnification or screen reader. And uh, talking about computers or smartphones or basically anything. And the truth is, I'm kind of in the middle. I still use some of my vision, but there's still a lot of stuff that I can't see. So I actually use both. I actually have a three-step process that I use whenever I use my computer or my smartphone. So I figured today I would show you guys how I use screen magnification and screen reading. Okay, so my three-step process that I use for using my smartphone or my computer is very simple. Step number one, I just use my normal vision. What little bit of vision I still have, I, st I just use it. Uh, for example, this really large clock, even from this far away, about two feet, I can see that it says 923. And you'll see that I have a very dark wallpaper on here on my home screen. And that is so that my icons, there's a lot of contrast between my icons and the background. So those icons really pop off. That clock with its bold white uh, font really pops off the background and makes it easier to see. The other thing is that I put all of these icons in these locations so I know where they are. Uh, I also can go by colors. You know, this, this red, white, and blue one here, I can tell that's the Pokemon Go app. Um, I know my Play Store app is over here because I, I can tell the basic shape of it and the colors of it. I know my Magnifier app is right there because it's green. Um, so putting all your apps where you want them and then memorizing where they are helps. So that's step number one. Step number two is using my Magnifier or using Triple Tap Screen Magnifier. Pinch to zoom, I can zoom in and I can see, like even from back here, I can tell by the shape of that icon and I can see that it says type and speak. It would if it weren't cut off like that. But, so using zoom, triple tap zoom magnifier on, my, uh, on this Android phone or the three finger double tap zoom on an iPhone or an iPad or using my magnifier. I use my magnifier a lot. So that is my main one. Number two is my main one uh, using a magnification. Now there's sometimes that my magnifier just isn't strong enough and using the zoom feature isn't practical. Uh, say I'm in an email and I don't wanna have to scroll back and forth on the screen zoomed in. It's kind of a pain. So that is where I use screen reading. And this is one of my biggest tips for people who are low vision they're having trouble reading some things on their phone or their tablet and they think, well, it would be nice if the phone would read to me, but I also don't want it to read everything. I don't need um, voiceover on my iPad on all the time. I only would need it for select things. Real quickly, on Android phones, that feature is called TalkBack. On, uh, on Android phones and tablets, on iPads and iPhones, it's called VoiceOver. But it's virtually the exact same thing. Some of the gestures are different, a lot of them are the same, but it does, it has the same functionality. So I'm one of those people. I don't need it to read everything all the time, but I would like to have it read some things. Well, that's where using a shortcut comes in very handy. And this is something that I recommend to a lot of people that are in my situation. On both Android and iPads and iPhones and all that, you can set it to a triple click of your home button. And it works great. So say I need to go in and check my email. So I'm using just my vision here. I, can, I know that this third one over is my Gmail. And say I need to zoom in here, and I might be blocking the camera, I'm not sure. Zoom in here and find the email that I want to read. I want to read this YouTube one here. Now, zoom out so I can see where I am and, and see where I need to be. Uh, now, for example, under here is a lot of text that I want to read, but 
once again, if I was zoomed in, it's kind of hard to sit here and go back and forth, back and forth, and see, I messed it up already, with two fingers reading back and forth, back and forth. So I think it would be so much easier if I could have that read to me. Very simple, because I set it up, make sure we're still in camera here, yep. Triple click on the home button. Top back on, top back is turned on. Talk back is turned on. I, I hope you guys can hear this. Now I can just click where I want to read, and for talk back, I just click in the section, and then if I long press. Copyright 2016 YouTube LLC 901 Cherry Avenue, San Bruno, CA 94066. It reads it to, tap to activate. Yeah, it reads it to me. And two fingers swiping up will move up the uh, list here and if I go to the next section YouTube sends email summaries like these so you can keep up with your channel subscriptions if you no longer want to receive these updates you may edit your preferences double tap to activate so now I'm done reading my email one two three talk clicks back is turned off. three clicks of the home screen talk back is off now the screen works just like normal so guys I can't stress how convenient that is for people with low vision. Once again, I don't need it to read everything. I only want it to read certain things. Another great place this comes in very handy is, go back to my home screen, Facebook. Reading posts in Facebook and keeping up with my friends and all that is so much easier with TalkBack. Okay, so I'm in Facebook and I'm in my sister's feed here and hopefully she doesn't mind me sharing these pictures <laughs> with everybody. My nephew is this guy here in front. He, uh, it was his first homecoming dance. So pictures from the house, everybody getting ready to go to the dance. So this is where TalkBack comes in very handy. I wanna read this post, so triple click. TalkBack on, TalkBack is turned on. TalkBack is on. Click on the post, long press. Homecoming 2016. Homecoming 2016. Now this is what's great. If I click on a picture and TalkBack is on. Double tap to activate. Image may contain three people, people smiling button in list. Double tap to activate. So I don't know, hopefully you caught that. It said image may contain three people, people smiling. So when TalkBack is on, and this works in iPhone and iOS as well, when your screen reader is on, in Facebook, it will tell what is in the picture. And it works pretty, pretty well. Now when I'm using my computer, it's very similar. I use the three-step process. I use just my normal vision. I can get close here and I can tell basically what these things are. These are all folders. Um, I can't read them very well, but I can tell where they are. If there was uh, a video I was looking for, I can, I can see it well enough, just my naked eye, to click on it. If I needed to get closer, three, and I, one sun select, and I, I can do that, shopping. and I can, I can zoom in and I can see what I need to. And you probably hear it talking because I'm using Zoom text and I have it set to speak certain things. And that is totally customizable. You can have it speak as much or as little as you want. I even have it set to hover. So if I if I hover over something with my mouse, it will read what it is. Item type MPEG 4 audio size 17.9 MB length 00. And a quick little tip, and this is for a lot of screen readers. If you just tap the control button, it will make it stop reading. So that I, I usually have my finger on that button all the time when I'm moving around because when, it's, one, son. when it starts talking, Editing one. I just tap it and it'll make them shut up. Uh, but that comes in handy one's notepad. because if I'm in a, a, a document or something like that and I don't want to read everything, I can just have it read the first line and then use my arrow keys. Twitch VC. Demo's a red giant. Twixter revision of facts. And it makes it so much easier. Uh, if I'm online and I am reading comments on YouTube or I'm reading emails, to have it read aloud to me, those certain situations makes it so much easier. All right, there you go, guys. Hopefully that's helped. Hopefully that's answered some questions on how I go about using a smartphone and using a computer. And as always, guys, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. If you like the video, 
hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the videos coming out in the future. This is Sam with The Blind Spot. Thank you again, and I will see you next time.